wish I could say that's the weirdest thing I saw tonight. Autopsy report. Cause of death, ligature strangulation, trauma to neck and larynx, larynx via girding, severe abrasions to wrists and ankles, most likely the result of being bounded by hem rope, consistent with all other bell killer murders. Ruling homicide. All the victims were bound, tied up before their murder. Well, kind of funny that you need to bind them, considering how strong this guy is. Suspect lineup, height, 6'2", weight, 215, build, athletic, density, Caucasian, eye color, blue, identifying marks, attire, always seen in masks, hood. Please think the bell color has blue eyes. I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't get a good look at his face when I confronted him. What would make him remember what he should be doing? That's just random. Bell color suspects. Link between murders. Similarity. Police didn't find a lead. See if there is any new leads in my murder case. Okay, so okay, this one's just confusing, man. Well, there we go. We gotta find that info about the missing tenant. Updated a file on those missing tenants, it might have information that's useful. Sandra Foster, 42, resident of Regal Apartments, professional psychic medium and criminal profiler, occasional consultant for the Salem Police Department, last seen by neighbors two weeks ago, no criminal record. Joy Foster, her legal guardian is her mother, Cassandra Foster, whereabouts of her father unknown. Dropped out of Salem school system two years ago, ran away from home, has a number of misdemeanor convictions, juvenile, trespassing, burglary, and breaking and entering. Amber alert for Joy Foster cancelled in custody. Okay. Cancelled because the witness is in custody here at the station. Should probably still be in the holding cell. All right. Yeah. Time to I conclude think I've investigation. All I can here. I better go find that witness. Ah oh, shit! Was I still missing one part? Bell killer murders have occurred all over town in random locations. There doesn't appear to be a common link to where they happen. Okay. Get off your phone, buddy. Witness description of clothing. Witness said she saw a man in a dark hoodie matching the public description, dark pants and shoes, did not get a look at his face. Doesn't seem like anyone has. Keep emotion out of it. Just gotta do our work. <laughs> Greta Soderbrook, female, 17 years old, death occurred one week before high school graduation. Damn. That sucks.
Robinson's got the girl in the room right now. Think she knows anything? I will find out. Robinson seems like a gentleman, but he's got his methods of persuasion. Yeah, he's a smooth one. My money's on him. <laughs> nice, Ronan. I guess no one noticed that at all. Gotta find some clue about who this freak is. On this spot in January 1777, the brave soldiers of the Continental Army greatly outnumbered held off British forces for three days until relief arrived from Boston. Cool story, bruh. See Melson Police Progress. There are still no suspects in the case. Accident has not been ruled out, but the only evidence of foul play was a bell symbol drawn with a felt pen. No prints on the pen. It was here in December 1776 that 13 soldiers of the Continental Army gave their lives combating a surprise attack from by British troops. Safe to say. What were you in for? Obvious what it's happened too complicated here. to get into. Let's just say that I wasn't about to let some judge decide how to spend the rest of my life. That's my choice, so I made it. Either way, you know, it doesn't matter now, does it? If it didn't, you wouldn't still be here. Maybe I can help? Nah, I appreciate it, but you know, it looks like you got your own shit to deal with. I'll figure it out on my own. Always have. Thanks, though. Do what you gotta do. I'll be fine. I've gotta get out of here. There's a ghost right over there in that cell. Don't you have some <laughs> other place you can keep me? I could tell my younger self what I would become. T -t 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 tell me you can't see this. Never forget the rush of taking down my first mark. You didn't see it coming, and I didn't see it coming. My dad held down my one arm with a steady grin on his face and a tattoo gun in his head, uh, ready to give me a memento so the crime would be impossible to forget. This guy, he, he's right there. Someone get this guy. The ghost is right there. <laughs> Someone can see ghosts. Remember, the thing about seeing ghosts is uh, sometimes they don't like to be seen back. Why do I get stuck with the crazy guy? At least they keep you entertained, man. Grateful recognition of a generous anonymous citizen of Salem who allowed this forensic facility to be built and better serve the people of the city. Okay then. Well, that's not creepy. Uh, mind if I ask what happened? What does it look like? I died. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can see that. I meant, how did you die? Autopsies aren't this thorough when the cause of death is cut and dry. I don't know. A bunch of pills. Some were sleeping pills. It was supposed to be peaceful. I didn't know that you... wake up. What am I supposed to do now? <sighs> I wish I knew, kid. I'll let you know if I figure it out myself. This is all a bad dream. It has to be. 
Yeah, maybe Since next time they'll kill yourself. tattoo usually a symbol for time spent in prison? Why would this tattoo have two spiders in the web? He got his own tattoo wrong. It's just a tattoo. That's all I know. Focus on your work. That's, why is the old guy so harsh? We don't pay you to analyze tattoos. Yes, sir. Nothing can prepare you for that. For seeing your own corpse. It never felt so much like an empty shell until now. God, I look like a criminal. <laughs> well, you kind of wow. were, weren't you? His entire arm looks like a confession of... Of, well... A confession of... Huh, a lot of stuff. Well, aren't you we a smart one? respect the deceased in here, son. Don't forget that. What the fuck is that? Is that really it for here? Okay. <laughs> Where the hell are they holding her? I swear they had her in the holding cell. Or, I guess, interrogation room? The stalwart specter? Something more to find out what happened. That shouldn't be too difficult. Claire Ann Nelson, female, 20 years old student. Well, I guess that's just one of his other uh, victims. Each one of these keys is a felony. Each one. You get that, right? No? All right, it's your funeral. Sit tight, relax. You're gonna be here for a while. Fuck! All right, look. Look, I might be able to help you. Is your mom's book from the Bell Killer case here? Yes, and it would probably help me find my mom, but as I told you before, you're dead. How can you possibly help me? Hey, I know this place better than you. Now, who did your mom work with here? Who? I don't know. She just called him Bastard. Baxter. All right. His office was on the second floor. You stick with me, I'll get you there. Let's go. Go where? They're watching. Not for long. <laughs> okay, can we affect those now, too? Ah, uh, yes, yeah, guys. This is fun. It's like a little stealth mission. Follow my lead. I'll get you past these cops and to the door on the other side. He's okay. Yeah. Last time you got caught, Magellan. Stay low, or they'll see you. Okay, where is she? Right there. Okay. Crazy. Very, not the most observant cops, are they? <laughs> oh, hey. There's something. Rocks in her pockets could point to suicide or bear there by classmates. There's no evidence of violence and no current suspects. Okay. Can I lure this guy away 